the cell any living organism is made up of units which are famously known as cells a cell needs food it needs energy it uses complex chemical processes to convert food into energy and discharges waste material also has the ability to reproduce what i just said is the definition of life a life can be composed of just one cell such as bacterium known as a unicellular organism or can be composed of millions or trillions of cells such as human beings when an organism is a multicellular organism such as human being the individual cells develop into highly advanced and complex systems of communication transportation digestion respiration defense surveillance and reproduction in a way that no human being can design these systems coordinate with each other cells create perfect machineries that can live for years the only purpose of these individual cells is to support the bigger life the big machine which they are a part of in humans millions of cells die and millions new are born every day but the life itself carries on as long as systems made by these cells function efficiently human cells are highly advanced in whatever they do and they follow strict rules religiously to carry out the functions they are designed for the oxygen we breathe and the food we eat is in fact needed by these cells to re- to produce uh, energy for them to sustain life and reproduce scientists have just begun to understand these microscopic structures but still have a long way to go it is neither our intention nor we can understand a cell completely we will only try to understand fundamentals that are absolute and must for us to understand basic functions of human body moreover concepts explained are related to human cells although some of them are true for other forms of life the cells vary in size shape and structure nature amazingly modifies cells to excel the functions they are designed to perform this is done by switching genes off or on in nucleus a lung cell is a lung cell because some of the genes are switched off only genes that are necessary for it to perform as a lung cell are switched on and it is true for every cell in the body similar cells group together to form tissues and an organ is made up of two or more tissue types there are some components or organelles as we call them that are present in all cell types but there may be exceptions for example the red blood cells which are also known as erythrocytes are so packed with hemoglobin to perform the function of oxygen transportation efficiently that they lack some important components and most important of which is nucleus platelet is another type of cell found in blood that does not have a nucleus an organelle is a sub unit found in a cell that has a specific function the word organelle comes from organ as you know cell is a living unit a cell breathes in oxygen digests food and has the ability to control its functions and can reproduce the diagram is showing some important organelles of a cell that perform these important functions these are not the only components but are the major components found in most cells cell membrane provides protection and acts like skin cytoplasm is a jelly like structure and all organelles are present within cytoplasm nucleus has dna which is responsible for giving specific functions to a cell and hence defines the type of cells lysosomes are involved in digestive functions centrosome is involved in reproduction and it starts the process of cell division the process of cell division is known as mitosis mitochondria are the main energy factories of a cell depending upon the type of a cell a cell may have hundreds of mitochondria mitochondria also play an important role in programmed cell death which is known as apoptosis 
we will briefly try to understand all these components separately starting from cell membrane but before we try to understand cell membrane we have to understand what are lipids what are proteins and what are carbohydrates lipid means fat in plain english so phospholipid would mean fat with phosphate molecules proteins are made up of acids and amines also known as amino acids amines are organic compounds nitrogen molecules the word organic means a compound that has carbon molecules so proteins are made up of amino acids means carbon and nitrogen molecules which are combined with acid groups there are 20 amino acids found in human body nine of which are synthesized means are made within different cells of human being and cannot be obtained directly by food intake point to be noted that cells also act like factories to make necessary material needed by the body to function efficiently now carbohydrate uh, means sugar or glucose sugars are classified into three categories monosaccharides disaccharides and polysaccharide glucose for example is a monosaccharide which is an important uh, food source for cells you will frequently hear these words in your profession so just remember for now that whenever you hear a word like monosaccharide disaccharide or polysaccharide it means carbohydrates or sugars again phospholipid would mean phosphate molecules with uh, fat glycoprotein means glucose or carbohydrates uh, attached to proteins so a glycoprotein would have carbon uh, plus hydrogen plus oxygen plus nitrogen and an acid group so back to cell membrane cell membrane is the outer lining of a cell which is made up of a double layer of phospholipid proteins and carbohydrates are also present for example in the form of glycoproteins and uh, carbohydrate chips phospholipid has two components a phosphate molecule which is negatively charged and thus is known as polar end the other component or tail is the lipid component which is made up of carbon and hydrogen atoms in this slide you are seeing the tail component of phospholipid molecule which is simply made up of carbon and hydrogen atoms commonly known as hydrocarbons or fat in simple english and usually they are not soluble in water they do not have any charge as well so this is how phospholipids are arranged in a bilayer to create a, a cell membrane this slide is showing most components of a cell membrane a cell membrane is a living structure which needs energy and the health of this membrane is essential for survival of cell itself cell membrane maintains osmotic pressures within the cell these pressures are maintained mainly by the presence of salts within the cytoplasm and outside of a cell any changes to this pressure may cause lysis or in simple words death of a cell either because of excess water moving into the cell or because of dehydration in case of hypoxic injury means the injury that is caused by lack or absence of oxygen the cell membrane loses its integrity and water from surrounding tissues uh, moves in and plays an important role in death of a cell in addition cell membrane performs the function of transport system transport of nutrients from blood across the cell membrane requires energy which is supplied by cell this transport is known as active transport a cell has to communicate with its environment and other cells in order to coordinate its functions this is done through signals received from environments these signals are received by 
receptors on cell membrane and can either modify actions of organelles in cytoplasm or can travel through to nucleus. The cell as a response makes adjustments in its functions such as increase or decrease the rate of metabolism or activation of cell division known as mitosis or even in case of absence of these signals from surrounding a cell activates the process of programmed cell death which is known as apoptosis. Uh, another 3D view which is showing the outer surface and glycoproteins and uh, carbohydrate chains on the outer surface and inside of a cell as well. The video is prepared for academyprofessions.com. Thank you very much.